is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that's, sounds good to me. Dancing Phil, how do you like that? We get so many new submissions for animations these days now. And by the way, here's another new one, me from Vice City. And this one's going to stay in the rotation permanently. Those two will. Because they're both neat, right? I've been getting so many cool submissions recently for fan art and other stuff. I'm really pleased. He's like, blah, 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 blah. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. You boring bastard. Jeez. I could be sitting here sipping on eggnog or Irish cream all day, and I'm not going to get completely sloshed, you know? I don't want to become so drunk, so inebriated, that I'm drooling over myself. I'm falling half asleep. I'm swearing, getting banned from YouTube for saying disgusting, really bad things on the stream. Like I did many years ago. You remember, I did actually do that on Twitch many years ago. I said something stupid because I was trying to impersonate a bad streamer. And I was drunk and I said something stupid and I actually got in trouble on Twitch for it. I did. They actually contacted me during the holidays when I was like, having time away for Christmas. They actually contacted me and said, oh, you, you shouldn't say that on stream. And I was like, well, fuck you. It's Christmas. Can't you just fucking grow up and realize that I was drinking during that day? No, they said, fuck you. And then they, they hit me with one of their penalizing strikes or whatever it's called. So I told them to go fuck themselves, and that was my Christmas interaction with Twitch that year. <clears throat> Sounds like a typical day on Twitch, though. So anyway, um, you know, I don't want to get completely sloshed and get banned from the internet. So, I don't want to drink too much hard liquor, although, although, they do have several different interesting hard liquors this year. They actually have vodka that's tasting like, like peppermint vodka and like candy vodka, you know, things that are like Christmassy. But they also have like... Uh, like I had a few years ago, like apple cider whiskey, which is meant to be like a holiday flavor whiskey. So I'm going to get something like that too, okay? But the thing is that I'll be negating all that liquor with food. I'll have this big ass feasting with the king meal. And then later on during the marathon, I'm going to be doing a special holiday edition of DSP Tries It. Where I'm not trying one item. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2021, I go up and I step it up a notch. I kick it up a notch for you. We're doing two holiday themed items during... DSP tries it on my Christmas marathon. Two. Not one. Two. Now, of course, also during that marathon, I'll be in Christmas attire and everything. There'll be some fun stuff going on during that event. Okay? It'll be good. OB Terminator Chase said, do you suspect you suffer from untreated diabetes? No, but I do suspect that you are an ass and you're now banned because it's not something funny to try to joke about fucking medical conditions on someone's stream and you can go fuck yourself. So Kat says, all right, let's, uh, let's give him a toy. I said, what? I said, what? Wait, wait, what are you talking about? Let's give him one of, you know, one of his Christmas presents we did with the toy. You know, we bought the stocking. Let's give him one. I said, what? I said, it's not Christmas. You don't get anything. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Christmas present today. Today. Today's not Christmas. Christmas is in, you know, more than a week away. But I caved in. I caved and I said, okay, um... Let's give Jasper Kitty some. So we ended up getting, first of all, it, it, the remember I said there was a stick with a little dangly thing on the end? That thing wasn't even, like, attached to the, to the, uh, the stocking. It was, like, loose, just, like, dangling from a tag or something. So now we gave him, he loved it. He loves playing with that stuff. He chases it around the house for, like, five minutes, then he gets tired of it. That's how a cat is. You know, play something for five minutes, they put it down. They'll get back to it later. So then my wife was, all right, let's open up the stocking. So she opens it up. What is at the top? Well, let's give him this. We give him the crinkly... Uh, foil ball. He chases that for a little bit. And then we gave him one of the plastic balls with a bell in it. So he got three toys yesterday. The, the thing's full. The thing says, like, I'm serious. It has, like, 20, 30 toys in it. It's, like, a stocking full of all these little trinkets for a cat. So, <clears throat> he still has tons of stuff that he's gonna get on Christmas Day. Um, but he ended up getting stuff early. Okay? Um, Tangy's Asian Style Aioli did 100 bits here asking if I, if, uh, did I ever have a stroke because the right side of my face doesn't move when I talk. What the fuck are you talking about? You're a fucking idiot. In fact, you know what? Get the fuck out. And I mean that because that's not something to joke about. Ask Lean X Cheer to sit down. I've done my face pulls for today. It's important to do my face pulls. Oh, okay, hold on. Do my face pulls. 
Okay, so eight, nine, ten. There we go. Thank you. I almost forgot to do my face pulls. Today I did something different. I ran a poll. It's running right now. Okay, currently we have three hundred. No, we have two hundred sixty-six people on the stream. Yet three hundred forty-four people have somehow voted for the poll. Figure that one out. We have a hundred more people voting in the poll than are on the stream. Figure that. Out. I don't know how that works. Do people just come in to troll vote and then leave? Maybe. Maybe that's what it was. People came in, troll voted, and left. So if you're one of the 100 troll votes, you're a dick because your vote doesn't count. You see? So let's take a look at the results. The question is, are you here just for today's pre-stream podcast? Or will you stick around and watch Halo Infinite afterward? The reason I ask that is because two things. Number one, I'm, I'm interested how many people like the podcast. How many people want to come and see the podcast specifically? But after that, maybe they're not so interested in the game, but they'll come back later when there's a game that they're interested in, right? Oh my god, he's drinking gin. Yes. Mm. That's certainly an inch, that's good feedback. All right. The other thing is, I'm curious how many people actually like Halo Infinite, because on my viewing audience, I know for a fact that chunk don't, because every time I play, some people complain that they don't like it. It's boring, right? I love it personally. I think the Halo Infinite campaign is the best since Halo Three. I'm having a ton of fun with this campaign. I can't wait for more today. It's going to be open world, chill, fun, plus some story development. So I'm, I'm having a good one. Okay. So here we are. The voting is 39% of people want to stick around for Halo. I, say, I call it Halo time. And then 61% say they're here just for the podcast. Okay, so a 60-40 split. However, if you subtract the 100 or so troll votes from people who just came in to vote for the troll and then leave, actually, it's even. I'm not even kidding. If you take away 100 votes for just the podcast, which I guess they think that's a negative. I don't think so. If you're telling me you like the podcast, that's a positive. But they're idiots. They think they're trolls. So they come in and they vote, oh, I don't like the games Phil plays or whatever, because you're a moron. So if you do delete 100 votes, it's even. It is. It ends up being about, like, about roughly, like, 140 and 140. I had to. I had the lie. So, in reality, what that's telling me is people are here for all different reasons. Some people actually just like coming and chilling with me and hearing the podcast and what's going on with me. They want to discuss that stuff. Other people, on the flip side of that, they basically are only here for gameplay. They're upset with me that I do a pre-stream every day, but they can't really complain about it anymore because it's a podcast that I do every day now. And if they complain, they look pretty stupid because I call it the podcast. There's a fucking overlay on the stream that says it's a podcast. Like, how can you complain about watching a podcast if it always was a podcast, is branded as a podcast, and you know that there's a podcast? Why are you there if you don't like a podcast? You see? See that? So, <clears throat> I'm happy. You know, that's, that's good. I, I like the fact that it's not overwhelmingly one way or the other. If it was like 95%, oh, I'm here for the podcast, I hate the game, then it might make me think, man, I don't want to play the game. If it was like 95%, man, I'm just here for the game. Fuck the podcast, Phil. You suck shit. We don't want to hear you talk ever again. Just shut your face. In fact, if you would actually zip your lips permanently and put a zipper on your lips and go zip and never talk again, it would be better off. Your content would actually be better off if you would just shut the hell up. Well, people actually said that. I would probably cry. I'm not going to lie. Like I would actually, you know, tears would well up. It would be incredibly insensitive to say something like that, especially the holiday season, the week before Christmas. To be so insensitive on my streams, I'd be very upset with, with everyone and probably uh, go into a big, a big cr crying session here uh, on the stream. So thank you for not doing that. Thank you for being nice to me and basically telling me we like what you're doing. Keep it up. I appreciate that. This is stupid. This poll is bullshit. I closed it. <laughs> this poll is bullshit. But for people to come and say, oh, he's playing it on normal and therefore it's boring we're not watching. You didn't even watch it. You're actually a fucking two-faced liar. Because if you watch the playthrough, you'd see I'm not just succeeding constantly. I'm failing. I'm dying. I am raging. Typical things for a dark side filled playthrough. But you're not watching the playthrough because you're a fucking idiot. Instead, you like to sit in a crowd of people who just complain about everything. Say, you ain't peeing your heart. This is you ain't peeing your And you don't understand because you didn't even watch it. You know? So, it's that simple. It's that simple. Now, if you don't like the playthrough... Then don't watch it! And that's okay. I'm not going to complain that people decided, because I didn't play it on a cripplingly hard difficulty, that you don't want to watch the playthrough. I'm really not. It is what it is. At this point, I'm already nine hours in. I'm really having a great time with the game. And there is an audience that's coming for these play for this uh, gameplay, and they're liking it, right? I'm liking it. I'm having a good time with it, all right? If you're here just for the podcast, not for the game, fine. I'm not playing this game every day. I'm doing a good variety of stuff on my streams. And I apologize to those who think that the playthrough sucks because I played it on normal, which is what the game developers told me to do. God forbid I actually do what I'm told by the people who made the game rather than just doing things that a tryhard community want me to do. And then I fucking suck at it and the, the playthrough's terrible, right? Because I, I don't know what I'm doing because I've only been doing this for 13 years. Okay.
I heard you had a stroke today. Your eyeballs went in two different directions. Is everything all right? I'm pretty sure when you have a stroke, you don't, your eyeballs don't go in two completely different directions. Like, what the fuck cartoon are you watching? On Thursday the 23rd, it is the Christmas Marathon event. We already talked about it. I'm not going to talk about it again, but that's all day long on the 23rd. I hope you will join me if you can. I'm purposely doing it on the 23rd, so that way if you're going to be busy with family and friends on the 24th or 25th, you can still be here for the Christmas event. Much like a Christmas party at your job that is not actually on Christmas because no one would attend it if it were actually Christmas Day, right? So I have to schedule it so you guys can be here. Now, on Christmas Eve, that's Friday the 24th, I'll be here for one stream for Ask the King. Holiday Ask the King. I'll be dressed up festively again, and I'll be answering your questions here live. You can ask questions for that by typing exclamation point Ask the King into the stream chat. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And by the way, next week, I'll be doing a special community post for members only. If you're a channel member, you will be able to ask questions for Ask the King, and those will have priority to be answered on the show. Another perk of being a channel member here on the show, on, uh, on the channel, okay? All right, so I'm doing Holiday Ask the King on Christmas Eve. Only one stream on Christmas Eve, because that night my wife will come home from work. We're going to have a nice meal together. We're going to relax and watch Christmas uh, shows. We're going to have Christmas cordials. We're going to be eat, drink, and be merry. We'll be singing Christmas carols all around the house, dancing with Jasper Kitty in the house. <laughs> Maybe give him some more Christmas toys, right? Uh, and with me today, I have the lovely cat on stream. <laughs> say hello, honey. No, you're not good to say hello? Okay, fine. And then Christmas Day, we're making breakfast together. We're having a whole day together. We'll have our roast going all day long. It's going to be a great day. Big festive fun here with the family. But I'll be back on Sunday, the 26th of December. <laughs> You guys can watch and get my opinions of the best games. <laughs> I think I'm dancing. I'm fucking dancing on the stream. I don't know what's happening. Oh my, I'm a little, I think I, I think the coffee kicked in. I think the coffee just kicked in. Because I feel full of energy. I'm flailing my arms around like an idiot. Alright everyone, here we go. Once again, I'm drunk. I'm gonna, every day I'm just gonna be drunk. Members I'm concerned about. We're now halfway through the month. And as you guys can see, we're pretty much, uh... A far cry from hitting the members goal for this month. I really wanted to do a special retrospective event in January. I thought that would be a very special day where we go down memory lane. We haven't done one in a year. I guess people just don't, don't like the idea. Because honestly, if you guys like the idea, this would be way closer to hitting the goal right now, halfway through the month. If you notice, last month for Christmas, people were pretty motivated. We were close almost all month, and we hit it at you know, a pretty good pace. This month, is just we're going backwards. So obviously, it sounds to me like you guys don't like the goal I set up. And I'm sorry for that. It means that I failed as a content creator, and I failed as, a, as an entertainer. And uh, when that happens, I have to go back to the drawing board. Now, the thing is, I don't know <clears throat> what exactly you would want to see as a, as, a, as a goal for the month. I'd like your opinions on this. Do you have an idea for a special event? Do you have an idea for anything that we could do that you guys would be motivated to become channel members? Because I thought the retrospective event would do it, and it didn't at all. It's been the, op the opposite. So I failed. I, I'm not afraid. I'm old enough and mature enough. I can admit when I failed. I failed this month. I did not motivate you to become a channel member. All right? You would think now, Christmas month, people would be motivated to support the channel. It's fucking Christmas. People are going to come out in droves to support the channel. Wrong. People were not motivated in droves to come support the channel. The opposite, they canceled their memberships because they were so upset with me. So, I'm sorry about that, and I'll do better. The question is, what can I do better? I need your feedback on that. Why doesn't the left side of my face move? Here, let's see. Why doesn't the left side of my face move? move ever i don't know looks like it's moving to me what the hell are you talking about there's still this back here and it's still in the back of my neck the back of my head the back of my mind and it's always telling me it's wwe champions time i love it i love it is, is a mobile game addict Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money, blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone. Like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. 